What's up everybody, Jesse here, or Game Over Jesse as you all may know me, and today I want to talk to you all about the hardware specs for the Nintendo NX, for the PlayStation 4.5, or PlayStation Neo, whatever you want to call it, for the new Xbox 1.5, or whatever they're going to be calling it, because something clicked in my head. I was reading an article talking about a new GPU that was releasing for AMD. If you're familiar with it, it's the AMD RX 480 which is supposed to be a high-end, top-of-the-line GPU that has really high, really strong performance, especially with VR. But here's the thing, it's only $200. You would expect a card like this to be four or five, maybe even getting higher up to $600, depending on how well it sells. So, the thing is, with this being such a high performance GPU and being so cheap, could this GPU be the GPU that they're going to be using with the 4.5, with the NX, with the Xbox 1.5? Because maybe the reason it's so cheap and they're able to sell it so cheap to consumers is because Sony and Nintendo and Microsoft has already bought millions and millions and millions of them, making it more affordable for AMD to produce these and cut down on manufacturing costs. So maybe whenever those rumors came out that the NX was going to be using a top-of-the-line chip, then maybe this is that top-of-the-line chip. It kind of makes sense and they've all used AMD in the past. It would make sense for them to use the most budget-friendly high-performance chip, which is this one. But then it makes you think the other rumors where Microsoft and PlayStation are using the same type of CPU architecture. They're just using a slightly more powerful version and they're increasing the RAM speed. Well this GPU has the 8GB of RAM at about the same speed that the rumor specs of the PlayStation 4.5 is supposed to be at. So everything's pointing to basically all three of these systems running almost identically. But here's the question that I have. Does the NX actually need to be this powerful? I mean, can you imagine a Mario game running on a console that's more powerful than the PlayStation 4 which ran Uncharted 4? Which is possibly one of the best looking games not just on consoles but on a computer as well. What would they use this for if you're able to play a game like Uncharted 4 in VR with this GPU and with the CPU and everything, then if the NX is this powerful, what are you going to need it for? I, I can imagine if you made a super realistic, a super advanced Zelda game, or a super detailed Metroid game or something, then yeah, but Mario? I mean... Super Mario 3D World looked completely fine, it looked amazing, and so does Splatoon and almost every other Wii U game. But the Wii U runs on one gigabyte on a really old outdated GPU and a CPU that only has three cores. This is supposed to be an eight core behemoth of a machine, so what does Nintendo need it for? Which, I mean... Not necessarily a bad thing, because you'll finally be able to get a version very similar to another version. Right now, if you go play certain games on PlayStation 4, it's in 1080p. If you play those games on the Xbox One, they're in 900p or sometimes 720p. Now, everything will be at 1080p or some games at 4K, some games with VR support. Which is, again, why... Now, they didn't necessarily delay the Nintendo NX, they delayed the production of the NX, or the rumors suggest, so they could add VR support. And this is the chip they're using to do it, so if they're all using the same chip, they're all using the same CPU from the same company that's making the GPUs, and finally, the GPU, again, has the same amount of RAM that these consoles are rumored to have. All consoles are supposed to have a big primary focus on VR. Nintendo's mentioned a new way to play. Maybe VR is that new way to play. Bring back the Wii Motes, 
or a standard controller, however they want to do it. I think the Wiimotes would be perfect for playing in VR, since you already have the motion controls. PlayStation's bringing their PlayStation Move, Xbox will probably use Kinect in some way with it, so it looks like VR and motion controls are all coming back. And AMD is the people behind this. But I want to know your thoughts. Do you think this is the right way for Nintendo to go? Do you think Nintendo is going to be going another way? Do you think the specs of the PlayStation 4.5 or the next Xbox One is going to be different? Um, obviously they're not going to be exactly the same. One's going to be slightly more powerful. One may be a lot more powerful. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below and tell me what kind of games and features and specs you think these consoles will have. And thank you for watching. Hey everyone, welcome to the end of the video. I want to thank you all for watching it all the way through. This is the end slate or the part of the video where I'm supposed to say something clever to convince you to subscribe or watch another one of my videos. So if you liked what you've seen here, then I have another top 10 video where I go over the top 5 lies that Nintendo has told their fans, which is interesting if you're into that sort of thing. And then if you're into Zelda or just Nintendo games in general, I have another awesome video that I'm really really proud of where I collaborated with Yuri of Wind, HMK, McIntyre Productions, and several others to come up with a Zelda theory on who built Hyrule. We all know Hyrule from the game's overworld and most Zelda games, it's the world that you're in. and. You never really stop and think who actually built all of this. So we worked together, uh, Yuri of Wind, HMK, McIntyre Productions, and I, and we recorded this theory. I hope you guys like it. And last but not least, I want to take the time to thank my Patreons for actually making this video possible. If it wasn't for their support on patreon.com slash gameoverchessy, then I wouldn't have really had the time to put forth to actually make this video. So thank you Alex Myers, Gus Calvo, Jonathan, The Itch Network, and Julio Rodriguez. Thank you all for your support and contributions on Patreon.com. And if you would like to help support this channel as well to help me create videos like this or give me ideals or even be in some of my videos, please head over to Patreon.com slash GameOverJesse 